right now. Okay. I'm smiling at the camera. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Happy day to you. It is early. Well, that's not fully true. Okay, it's actually not that early. But I have very slow moving children today. And in all honesty, I'm moving very slow. We are coming off of a wonderful time with my parents. Right before that was my sister and her kids and husband. And I can tell my kids are tired. <laughs> As they should be. They have played hard, they've partied hard. We're not like people that just run into the new year guns a blazing anyway. Um, we just kind of take it easy and that's good. So yesterday was 65 degrees here, central Illinois. Normally it is much colder than that. You do think the cold is coming back and that's good. <laughs> I'm not ready for all the mud yet, even though, well, actually, it was very lovely experiencing yesterday's weather. Um, but I know the inevitable is coming still. We're not to spring yet, so. Anyway, I thought I would take you along with me. Give you a little peek into our day as we start school back up. Kind of gain order back in our house. After Christmas, after family, after more family and what that looks like for us. So, join along. I'm Meg, pour a cup of coffee if you need one, or maybe your second like me, and welcome to Haven Hill. Well, that was my first order of business. I needed to gain order back in my kitchen. Uh, everybody was literally so tired last night. I didn't put anything away. Nobody else did either. And that was okay. We have just, like I said, been going so hard and I think we all reached a wall yesterday of just being tired. Um, my kitchen is now picked up. It honestly took me I do this sometimes. It took me less than 15 minutes. Which always makes me think I should have just done it last night, but oh well. It was nice to just crawl in bed after my son's basketball game and just relax. So now I am going to go get ready for the day. Um, I knew I had to do this first though because it's very hard to start anything else when my kitchen is a disaster. Some people have to do it before bed. I just, just has to get done before we start our day. So. I'm gonna go get ready. I have two boys that are up. The rest I will give a little bit longer to sleep. And then we will begin the rest of our day. Hey mom. Okay, we're somewhat ready for today. 
I happened to look out my window and see that the hens are trying to get into their lane area, but the door was not open. So, went to go up them here. Here you go, sweet ladies. That also means the cat's there. You go, you go do your thing. Oh, hello, kitties. Yes, yeah, so the girls will be there to feed you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm walking down to the mailbox. Thought I would give you just, now that I'm ready for the day, a quick game plan for what we're doing. First day of school back since Christmas break. We homeschool. If you're new in this space and you don't know that, we homeschool. Um, most of our kids, our oldest is at a local high school. Um, no, I'm sorry, my oldest son is. Our oldest daughter graduated <laughs> a couple years ago. So anyway, or a year and a half ago. Um, everybody else is homeschooled right now. So today my plan is take it easy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we've been going pretty hard with family, which is uh, just so life-giving. But my daughter, Willow, said it very well last night. She goes, after my parents left, getting back to normal is hard, Mom. And I said, I know, it is, it is. They only live about four hours from us, three and a half if you don't hit traffic. Wow some electrical guys out there but it's enough that once you know you have older children our three oldest have jobs it gets challenging at times so it's really important to make time for that though very very important like the most important thing but it does get challenging just keeping it real so today my goal is math reading um, which reading for them means they have their own readers. They have um, school readers. Okay, sorry about that, my card filled up. So my goal today, math, their reading, which they know means, can you hear that? I don't think you can see it, but there's some electrical wire work going on over there, which is good, because that's usually when we lose our power. If it gets cold, it's right up there. So hopefully they're trimming trees. Anyway, math, reading, those are my goals. Um, and you know, science for us is so life out here. Um, like I've, sh I think I've shared in this space before learning soil, learning animals, learning the ground, learning, um, just so much out here that I'm learning right alongside of my kids. I feel like it is the most crazy important life school, life science I can give them. Now, we do have other stuff that we do, but it is the most valuable how they are doing it and how I see them remembering so much. I am sorry, this is all bumpy. I don't know if you can hear that in the background or not, but that's what's going on. Way up there. So my parents left early this morning and they left us their griddle. And I just noticed my mom's note. Pancakes are great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The recipe of what they left for us. And I hope there's enough syrup. Okay, so my parents own a restaurant. I have shared that in this space. But um, there's just so many new people that I thought I would just say that again. They live in Michigan. And one of the things that they're famous for, I posted this over on Instagram over the weekend, but one of the things that their restaurant is famous for, this has been a family restaurant that has been in our family. My dad and my uncle and my grandpa originally started this in like the Kalamazoo, Michigan area. And one thing that they're famous for is, oh, and they started it like when I was, I mean, over 35 years ago. I'm just turned 41 on December 22, and they started it when I was probably about five. Anyway, um, they're famous for their buttermilk pancakes. They are absolutely amazing. My kids love them. I love them. They are the best pancakes I have ever had. So when they come, they often bring everything that they need to be able to make those with my kids. They did that, and there's extra extra batter, extra buttermilk, all of those things. So I'm going to be making that this morning for my kids um, for a late breakfast. They're very filling, so late breakfast, early lunch, as we get our bodies back to normal to eating <laughs> good food. I mean, we've eaten tons of 
good food, but you know, very rich food. This will be good. This will be delicious. Okay, we needed some more light. If I could, I would share this recipe with you, but I can't. So if you're in Michigan, go to their restaurant. It's called Rixie's Restaurant. I'll put the link down below. Go there, just go enjoy them. Um, but I also can't even if I wanted to because I don't have it. <laughs> they always bring me their dry mix, which is already mixed together, and then they give me the liquid uh, measurements. So that's what we're doing. But the one really lovely part, our ladies are still laying, bless their hearts. They actually have been laying really well ever since that awful cold snap has ended. So gonna get that going. Okay, so this is a lot of pancake batter. Can you see all that? Oh my goodness. So I'm going to spend the next probably while, I'm gonna actually go ahead and bake off all of this because here's one really awesome thing. When you make pancakes, if you, if maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but if you don't eat all that you have <clears throat> baked off, they freeze well, and they also can just stay in the refrigerator for a day or two, warm them up in the oven, on the stove, in the microwave, whatever you have, and they're great snacks. They're great for later. Um, so I've done that a lot um, with pancakes, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend the next while baking this, or yeah, baking these all off. He sees my camera out, he comes up and says, Nana, which is how he says my name. Nana, Deacon, Nana, Deacon. Can you say good morning? Can you say hi? Hi, that's so sweet. You get lavis? Can you blow kisses? Oh, good job. <laughs> so one of the things that I have learned over the years that really helps our family well um, is when we have guests over of any sort we switch to all paper products and we do that my card was full okay so what i was saying is one way that i have learned i can serve our family well is by using paper products so we can throw just everything away it makes cleanups quick and easy we don't do it on a daily basis and um although there have been seasons that we have when we have lots of babies around and that is something that we did with my parents here with my sister here and we still have paper products so it's gonna make really quick and easy pickup today and i've just learned that that's helpful so then i'm not in the kitchen jace isn't in the kitchen nobody's in the kitchen for hours on end cleaning because we always have a lot of people so that is something that is just really really helpful for us these guys have been watching the electrical line workers tree trimmers i'm not exactly sure Doing their work. Oh, no, that's this is my puzzle master. Ah! <laughs> you do your puzzle, bud. Days are in a non leap year. What is that? How many days are in a non leap year? Here, let's see if I'm going to go. Ah, ah. Mm. <laughs> okay, I have kids all going with school. They're doing good there. It's always, you know, it's just hard getting back to normal. But the other thing that I have to do today is I, do you remember me telling you in one of my videos, I think it was, I'd have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure it was the video about our um, family photo shoot because you saw my bed, how my bed skirt was all torn just from kids climbing up in our bed. Anyway, this is not our permanent bed. This is the bed that we've used for a bit. We want to have a piece of more furniture at some point in time, but we don't right now. So you see under our bed. So I finally, I have spent the last month looking for a um, bed skirt that I liked. I really like um, vintage bed skirts. 
I think it's a fun pop of color and I finally found one. So it is an, I think it was a vintage Ralph Lauren. Oh yes, your shoes. And so Cooper's gonna help me um, put that on. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Okay, so here is the print. Super fun, love all the color. My bedding on top is usually neutral. So I love walking into our room, seeing that fun pop on the bottom. I don't know, just something unique. Okay, there she is. It is a vintage Ralph Lauren, like I had mentioned, and I love it. So our other one was actually similar, but everywhere there was white, it, in this one, it was more of a red color, and I, it's probably my most favorite one, but this, I still love this one, and I just found it on Etsy, to be honest. Um, it's a quilted one, so it has a texture to it. I love that, I just love that. I'm still trying to get it all situated. So that helps immensely because before, oh look at we're all cockeyed over there. This is, like I said, this is not a design, anything. But before you could see right under the bed. Okay, so now you don't see under my bed. This buys us time until we decide what we're going to do for sure. In our last house, um, Jason, oh this is the wallpaper that I'm leaning towards, which I want to be in here, just on this wall. But our, Jason is going to do another custom headboard for us. Um, he did that in our last house. I loved it. So he'll do something there eventually, but his list right now is long. I'm not a matchy-matchy person. Um, I changed my bedding with the season. I just love textures and layers. That's why we have curtains for um, our closets. When we moved in here, the closet doors were broken. And I told him, I said, I want curtains. I love how that looks. It's very um, romantic to me, just seeing those layers of fabric. So anyway, this is our winter bedding, how it all works in the summertime. I go more, um, much lighter with my colors. Sometimes I change out all my pillows. Sometimes I only change out a couple. I don't know, just something little random. Truly a day in our life. This is what it looks like. Some days flying by the seat of your pants, but I today am thrilled to have that bed. You know, it's funny. I was reading something about a design blog thing and they said bed skirts were out and I just giggled. I'm like, not to me, they're not. I love them. I still love them. I love all the different styles that you see. I think they're beautiful. So, you know, find what you love, do that. Chad and I are headed to go get eggs and our hens are truly embracing free ranging right now. I feel like they are wandering more right now than in the summer. Ladies and gentlemen. So this is our woodshed over here and they know that there's dirt in here. Oh, look at those roosters. We have some beautiful roosters right now. Um, they know that they can do their dust bath back in here. And that's really important for their health. So I don't mind right now. All right, this guy and I, <laughs> let's go get our eggs before the dog does. The dog steals the duck eggs sometimes. <laughs> Let's go do it, buddy. More puzzles. How many eggs did you get, big guy? Eight. No, you did not. How many did you get? Four. Four. And we have at least three Doobie, ladies. Doobie. And we have at least three ladies laying right now and probably more to come. So they're doing really well. Oh, that one's nice and warm. So good to see this this time of year. Find a hundred? Good job. One of the sheep wandered off and was lost. If there were 100 sheep and one went away, how many were left? Shad? Oh, 100. No, if there were 100, oh, that's right, good job. Okay, the shepherd is looking for their lost sheep. You're gonna complete the mazes, helping each shepherd find the lost sheep. To get through each maze, follow the numbers one through 40, mm -hmm. hold on one second, with your crayon or a counting stick. There you go. One. 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 You count them. Nope. You count them, buddy. Mm -mm. One, two, three, four. Okay. I just have to say it feels very good to have everybody back on a schedule again. I can already tell little behaviors are better and everything. Um, but I thought I'd just put this out there for young moms. So if you're homeschooling, my um, youngest two that are at school age are kindergarten and second grade. And my goal with them 
each day is to have their book work done within an hour's time. And then that doesn't include like if I'm reading aloud to them or if they're listening to read alouds or things like that. But then the rest of their day, I like them, I love it when I see them doing puzzles. Obviously those are a big deal here. Going outside depending on the weather, um, playing with the animals, just anything, going to their room and just hanging out. Um, my daughter's really into crafts. My son likes playing with Play-Doh and different things and that's just kind of how their school days um, work. So within an hour's time, I just like having their stuff done. But anyway, this is just to encourage those that are just with young ones still. It doesn't take much time to do their work and that's kind of lovely. One other thing though that we did have to do this weekend that was really hard and really sad is so I shared, I shared over on Instagram, and I think I shared in this space too, we have one of our original Pekin ducks that was going lame. And we worked with him, and we worked with him, and we tried to help him, and he was he did better for a couple days, and then he went downhill really fast. So we had to put him out of his misery this weekend, and that was a really hard one because he is one, or he was one of our originals. His name was Duck. Yes, I know. And uh, he was large and, oh gosh, it was sad. The cool part is though, that I did, I was able to get stickers of all of our original animals printed for our kids. And I'm so glad I had that done before he actually passed away. So that was a big bummer, but uh, it's part of living out here. And I could tell, I could tell he was starting to suffer more and then the other ducks, um, you know, they have no, like, they don't know what's all going on and why he can't walk. They can't process things like that. And so if he was moving too slow, they would just step all over him. And that's just not what we wanted. And he's a male, so he was obviously not laying. And anyway, that had to be done this weekend. That was a really, that was a bummer. What's your rooster's name? What? What's your rooster's name? <laughs> yeah, you guys know. Yeah, baby, you you never. <laughs> okay, it is after lunchtime. I am going through things um, to just put away for Christmas. And my mom, I wanted to show you all this. My mom, for my birthday, gave me one of these. She put it together the cranberries and cinnamon and nutmeg and rosemary and um, orange. I have been wanting to do this all winter so far. I mean, we're you know not that far into winter. Yeah, do you want to say mm-hmm, say hi? And I'm gonna get this going today. Now that my kitchen is mostly clean, I just thought, okay, I see you, I see you. Mm -hmm. Just a minute here, let me get. Oh, 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 oh! Now that my kitchen is mostly clean, I mean, I still have some things to pick up from school. Almost everybody is done with school except for um, Cooper. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm gonna get this going and I cannot wait to smell this. She also gave me some other really just fun things. You know, you don't always wanna spend money on yourself and she got them, so I'll show you those. Okay, so she gave me uh, my favorite dish soap for Christmas time, the Mrs. Myers Iowa scent, I pine scent, a couple of the big ball jars with handles. My favorite candles that are natural, they do not make me feel sick. And one of them, I have somebody pulling on my sweater, one of their candles, my favorite one, 
is the candle maker made the scent um, that is called Rixie's Cinnamon Rolls after my parents' restaurant and their cinnamon rolls. You know, I've told you about my Grandma Helen's cinnamon rolls, and it smells just like them. I mean, as you know, as much as it can, it is so delicious. And then she gave me a um, peppermint eucalyptus candle. These are done by Natural Habitat Candle Company. I think that she is local, right out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. And then, sorry that lighting's not fantastic, a new um, tea towel for my bread making. I need to give you guys an update on the countertop, the island, you know, the island that fell out of the truck. Whoa, that's very low. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I just wanted to show you this. So this is the thing, it's called pot potpourri. Oh, that's actually really funny. That probably sounds really bad. <laughs> we'll just call it potpourri. So I'm gonna cut the orange in half, the rosemary's ready to go, the cinnamon's ready to go, and just dump the, um, the, the cloves. I think I said nutmeg earlier. It's cloves and cranberries right in the pot, and it can just boil um, as long as I want it to boil. This will start boiling, then I move it to a simmer and I will let it go. And I have done these actually for a couple days in a row before. Ignore my dirty pot. I'm actually really frustrated with this pot. After using it twice, this is what happened in the oven. Ugh. Anyway, oh well, such is life. Okay, so here is the candle I'm gonna get going. I love her lids, the wooden lids. I need to contact her and tell her about these or how much I love them. I'm super sensitive to candles, like very sensitive. I can't find my matches right now and I just wanna get it lit, so I'm using another candle. Um, it's highly, highly sensitive to candles. And when I say like highly sensitive, oh, very sensitive, um, I can get a migraine probably within 30 minutes if the candle is, um, I, eh, it's just not natural. It's actually quite frustrating. I mean, it should, it's frustrating from the sense that I can't ever use them, but it's also frustrating from the sense of, I can be at people's houses where I have to ask them to blow them out. Such is life. And it also tells us probably what's in them, right? Anyway, that's not about this. So these candles are all natural, scented with essential oils, um, I have not had any issue, and I'm just really, really thrilled about that. So, that's lit. Like I said, the two big um, ball jars, just loving those. Um, oh, and then she also got me this little, my mom does really thoughtful gifts. She found this little Hallmark keepsake, keepsake ornament from 2007 and it is I don't know what is going on with my camera you guys it's having a really hard time focusing today anyway it is a garden bells the snowman of I'm sorry it's called garden bells snowman of the winter garden and I just love it okay my buddy and I are having some downtime it's part of the day that I have really been looking forward to I told everybody today as we're getting ready or as we are getting back to normal we're gonna do downtime today. Yes, you're supposed to be sleeping before brother's basketball game. I really think he's enthralled with himself. We do have a basketball game tonight, so that's another reason why. Okay, but let me show you what I have been so looking forward to diving into. So I have many books on my list this year. This is one, this is gorgeous. I've already been flipping through, making mental notes of how I'm going to be designing the gardens this year and just different things with the animals. This, it's, oh goodness, I just like can hardly wait to start actually reading it. This one. Um, Artisan Sourdough Made Simple. I've seen this going around lots of different places and I would love to get more recipes that I'm really comfortable with besides just your basic bread and crackers and different things. So super duper excited to dive into this one. It looks great. Actually, this is one that my dad and I were flipping through. My parents love talking about food. Obviously they own a restaurant and where did it go? This one. Okay, so this is one that I'm super excited about. Um, open face toasted cheese and tomato sandwiches. That looks absolutely delicious to me. Just like a glorified um, grilled cheese sandwich. And I have, like as soon as I saw this, I got lots of really great ideas. One thing that they put on it was apricot jam. 
and um, I'm not sure my kids would like that, but goodness, I would. But then I was thinking of other things too. So anyway, I'm super excited to dive deep into this one as well. So those are just two books. Are you getting my slippers? Are you getting my slippers? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You stick. Another recipe that I've been wanting to do with sourdough is, so one of the breads that um, I, I grew up eating, um, and it, my parents make it at their restaurant, is oatmeal bread. It's absolutely delicious, but it's not a sourdough. They soak their oats, but it's not a sourdough. That is something that's on my list this year, is to modify what I grew up with, the oatmeal bread, thank you, and do a sourdough oatmeal. Have you guys ever done that? If you have, drop drop it in the comments to me. I would love to know, was it good? Did it work? How was it? So yeah, that's something that's I'm running through. Okay, how could I, do, according to the way that they do it there, how could I make it sourdough? Okay, so I moved so that this little man, no, hold on one second, puppy. Oh my goodness, do you like looking at books with mama? Yeah, you do. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I just wanted to share one more thing from the Blooms and Dreams book by, I think her, you say her first name, Misha Gillingham. This, just, wow. I have, we don't have an area anywhere like this, but this inspires me in an, a certain area of our yard. I will, I don't know. I don't know if we can transform it to this extent this year. I, in fact, I know we can't because there's a lot of structures in here that um, while Jason has so much ability, he does not have that time. But um, this is inspiring me for something that I cannot wait to talk about in this space, but I have to keep it to myself for right now. But yes, please, all the garden lighting and beautiful, beautiful blooms. Oh, you guys, I wish you could be in my kitchen right now. So it start, as soon as it started to boil, I moved it down to simmer. Even Cooper just came in and said, Mom, it smells so good. It is, oh, it smells divine. This girl's watching her art and decorating videos that she learns a ton from and gets so much inspiration. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. You love it. In the swing. Goodness, I would have loved to have a swing in my room growing up. <laughs> that was a Christmas present. This boy loves milk and he loves any salty chips possible. <laughs> Does that feel so good? <laughs> and then this one was given, what were you given as a gift? Salted caramel with marshmallows hot uh -huh. cocoa ball. He was given a gift of a hot cocoa ball and he remembered today he hasn't used it yet. Your milk has to be plenty hot in order for it to start to melt. Get per minute, plenty okay. hot. And this was my other mission, getting the first vlog up for the new year, which is probably already posted. But my dad is in this one, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. <laughs> my dad helps um, Jason with the sheep shed. We, it is completely finished, which is, oh, such a huge relief before they arrive, so. Willow, what is your new favorite snack? Popcorn. <laughs> because what did Mimi get you guys for Christmas? A hot air popper. Yes, my mom got them an air popper. They love it. Okay, I'm headed back down to the mailbox because I'm pretty sure our mailman just left something in our box. With the temperatures, I they're all dropping again, which is actually really good. Um, I don't really want warm yet because we know it's not here to stay as much as I am. I get so excited for spring. But as you can tell, Dad, today. You got your bag. Good job. Run, buddy. Run. Today was about rest. Today was just about restoring our normal routine again, which I think is, you know, while it's so great to celebrate and all of those things. We do celebrate a lot around Christmas. My birthday is three days before Christmas. Our oldest daughter, her birthday is the day after Christmas. And we have Christmas and Christmas Eve and then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and then my mom's birthday. And it all is so good and wonderful. 
but then you get to the end and it's like okay it's time to get back to normal like all this anticipation for these days and um i love it i do but it was time to get back to normal to get into our family's routine what works for us what works for kids my kids i know their bend i could sense that everybody was ready even though they didn't want to do school they were ready for their for their school so they know what to expect is there mail thank you good job you got it you are crazy i am all bundled up and you have almost summer clothes on okay we'll head back anyway so thanks for coming along with us today i'm gonna go ahead and sign off now it is mid to late afternoon i believe thank you kind sir you better run in there so you don't get sick hi pablo it's mid to late afternoon we have a basketball game to prep for um i'm just gonna throw together a really quick dinner tonight which will probably almost it's consist gonna be yummy. it's gonna be yummy yeah Hey, yummy dinner so we can go strong. Oh, that's right. It'll probably consist. Oh, look at who's behind us. There's Pablo. It'll probably mainly consist of almost like a charcuterie board. Because we have a basketball game, we have to leave early. And I love doing that. But um, we've had so many. Oh, yes, breathe deep. Ready? He's my boy who always remembers breathing deep is important. It's very important for him in particular and me. Um, anyway, a charcuterie board, meats, cheese, fruits, some crackers. We've had so much delicious, but also richer food that it, we're just gonna come down from that just a bit. And then head to the game. So uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for being a part of our day. Thank you for allowing us to share it with you. So until next time, may you be blessed. Talk to you later. If you have not been able to tell, this boy, no matter the season, does not love pants unless we're leaving the house. <laughs>